So we're back again, as you can see behind me. I haven't really cleaned up. I am uh, trying to get this uh, some progress done in the next couple of weeks. So I can kind of get this place functional so we can get onto some car stuff. Um, this one's going to be about setting up air in the shop. So few shops I've had. One shop I did really nice and I did it out of all like plastic crimp tubing. That worked pretty good but in the winter or in the summer in Australia it actually sagged really bad so it needs a lot of support. Um, so for this one I was lucky enough that my uh, boss has a heap of steel pipe laying around at his yard so um, we're lucky enough to grab some half inch rigid pipe and we've got a threader as well for it, this one here. So we've got the half inch die here. So uh, we're going to, what we're going to do for this one is we're going to use rigid pipe. Compressor's going to go up in, there's, in the last video you would have seen where I put the power for the compressor. We've just bought a uh, really cheap shitty compressor to be honest. Um, I want to go drifting and not have, well I'd like to have both but I've got to make a choice. So. Drifting's more important, so we uh, found this bargain. She's brand new, off marketplace for seventy dollars. Um, it did have a leak that I had to fix, and the gauges were off on it. I have no idea about its real history, but uh, it was seventy dollars, and it's brand new and it works. So stoked with that. So what we're going to do here is uh, we want air in this corner here for uh, the fab room and working on the car. So we're gonna pipe from the top all the way around as you'll see and do a drop just over here in the corner. Do a drop there and then that'll have a hose reel. Then right up top in the middle, we'll go up there in a minute, I'll show you what the plan is for there. And then behind me here where the roller door is, we're also gonna have another drop. Oop, it's kinda weird, don't know that. A drop just here with another hose reel. So that hose reel will cover the front of the cars these cars and you know if we're going to pump up tyres or anything outside so we're going to have one drop here, one drop there and then we'll go upstairs and have a quick look I have, uh, I've been up here for an hour or so this morning just sort of making a plan up before I start um, so we've uh, that there Oh yeah, that there is going to be the compressor, then that gives us room for the future to put a bigger one in. <clears throat> we got 110 and we got 220 there, so that's sorted. And then I uh, just bent up this bit of pipe and put a clamp up and some clamps over there, just so that's my plan. We uh, went to Home Depot, bought a whole lot of rigid fittings here. It was actually super cheap, these fittings. The uh, galvanised ones are cheaper than like schedule 40 steel ones so we went for that and it looks better I think so we got that and we got some pipe goop down there got a shut off valve some clamps so uh, oh, that's what we actually came up here for so this little room here as you've seen in that last video I spoke about this is going to be a powder coating room eventually so we're going to have an air compressor there that'll be where our pipes join in uh, we will put a dryer of some description up there and a regulator eventually, but for now it's just going to be, we're going to tee it in and use the regulator off the compressor, I think. Maybe I'll put a dryer up there, I'll see how we go. But that's going to go there, and I'm going to come off here. I'm just going to have a uh, point down here off to another regulator so we can drop that pressure down real low for powder coating, and then that pipe will continue across. So we're going to have air here, um, yeah we're going to have air here for powder coating then we're going to have a pipe that continues around to the other side and then this pipe that I've already started is going to continue around there so yeah should be pretty basic but uh, should be pretty nice to be honest so uh, yeah I think it's a pretty good solution fairly cost effective and shouldn't take us too long so we'll get that done today hopefully and um, yeah, that'd be pretty good if we get that done today. Might be a, another trip to Home Depot, I'm sure. This was just a guess of what it needed, so we'll see how we go. Let's get into it.
So uh, as you've seen there, we have uh, got all the lines in, we got the compressor in where we wanted it. It's uh, obviously not exactly the size compressor we want, but for now it's uh, for sure going to do the job that we need it to do. Whoa, Loki. So uh, that's sorted. We've been waiting on a couple of things to finish that job up. I uh, yesterday went down to there's a Harbour Freight, it's a kind of tool tool shop close to where I live. Went down, grabbed some parts I needed that I've been waiting on. Honestly, parts super cheap and work pretty well, so super stoked with that. And rolled in yesterday just to pick up my airline. Boom! Spend over 50 bucks. Get a free heat gun, so that's pretty handy. So we can put that there. I'm sure we'll use that thing. And uh, also bought a hose reel because uh, they're super, super handy, especially for how I've laid out the uh, the shop at the moment. So we're going to uh, install the hose reel at the door here. Here, yeah, here, yeah. yeah, just there. That's well, kind of hard to do. Up here. Yeah. Anyway, you'll see it. I'll get this hose reel up. Get the hose reel up, get the fittings on, get that hose reel connected. Eventually we do want to put a hose reel at the other end of the shop, but for now this will suffice. And we've got a flexi cord to go in the fab room and uh, seal up the fittings upstairs. And then we can call the airlines done for now. So let's get this thing finished and uh, yeah, be another job done. And we're getting pretty close to working on cars. You can obviously see in the background here of uh, Moved a bunch of engines into the shop. The sold sold one, so I had to move some stuff around. So we got some engines in here and some pallet racking. So that'll be the next video. We'll get that up, get that organised, and we're getting pretty close to building some cool shit. So thanks for watching. So this would uh, probably have to be the fanciest airline setup I've ever had in my personal shop. So we uh, obviously want to get a bigger compressor eventually. But for now, this is the uh, biggest one I own. So it's here. Uh, we've got pressure. So uh, it's actually got a fair bit. We've got like 160 psi, and then through the regulator, we got 90. We've uh, Got it plugged into our system with our isolator valve turned on, so there's air everywhere. And uh, we're going to leak, so that's a bonus. We uh, also, as you've seen there, we installed the uh, hose reel. So that's over there on the wall. Came up pretty sweet. We uh, eventually want to get one over on that wall over there, but for the moment, one was uh, plenty enough for us to operate with. So that's uh, air everywhere in the shop, and I'll show you what we've done in the fab room here. So we've got a drop over in the fab room as well. We've got this. So uh, yeah, we dropped the hard line down. We got like a slinky. I actually don't know what the American term for it is. I'm going to call it a slinky, it's a 20 foot slinky, and uh, let's see if this works here, oh yeah baby, we got air, so we'll call that an end, uh, i got air everywhere I need in the shop, got a hose reel, it's pretty successful if you ask me, so we'll uh, on to the next project, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully some car stuff soon.